someone celebrate Jesus. You can do better, celebrate Jesus. This place, give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. It was all because of Him. Come and give it to Jesus. Brother Collins, let me hear you give it to Jesus. Come on, let me hear you give it to Jesus. It's good to be back here again. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Please be seated. I see fire everywhere. We'll get to that in a minute. I think this, okay. <laughs> I'm happy to, this is my house, this is my home. I'm happy to be in your midst again. I want to tell you that God is about to do something in your life. <sighs> we just passed the threshold. This after 12. We are in the beginning of a new day. There's something prophetic about what is, what is happening here. I heard this trumpet from my house. There were angels sounding trumpets here. And I was one of those that could pick the signal from where I was. And I said, no, I must be here. Because there's something God has planned for somebody here. And you will not live without that miracle. Yeah. While I was coming here, the Lord gave me a mandate. I, I, I am here with a hundred miracle. Listen, listen, listen. Hundred. There are hundred persons here that the Lord said he wants to shift. Particularly into a new realm. talking to you I just said amen to because I don't joke with my words over the year I've seen God take this air leaving, leaving my mouth and turn it into miraculous things I'm telling you because I am aware of the realities that God is about to give to you so I'm telling you that I came here with a blessing because there are hundred persons here that God wants to shift into a new realm of realities I don't know when I see the hundred people I will know them but I, 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 I want to speak according to the all eyes on my head as you shout them man, may God shift you into your new level Amen hear me and hear me well something is about to happen here now I came here to charge the atmosphere I want to tell you, this is a charge that after tonight, your life will never run down again. Amen. Amen. Hear me, oh, hear me, hear me. Yes, hear me, because I will tell you what the, the world call rubbish. You will hear nonsense from me this evening. Because it is nonsense to the carnal mind. Only spiritual people can understand this thing. Can you hear me? This is called destiny manifestation. Let me tell you, I told God, said, give me a word for these people. Give me a word for this generation. Because I'm not speaking to individuals here. I'm speaking to generations. Are you hearing me? You carry your generation in your loins. So you're not, the blessing you are getting this night is not for you alone. Why Abraham carried the seed in his loins? He paid that. So God knows that every man is a generation. Now hear me. You cannot manifest destiny without certain points. We will pray in 10 minutes. There are certain things you need to know about destiny manifestation. Let your ears and eyes be open. Yes, sir. There are certain things you need to know. And I'm only going to talk about one. For you to manifest destiny, you need to know what is written. What did I say? You need to know what is what? Okay. When I stood here, I saw fire. I know what I I know why I saw the fire. God said that is turning men to altars. 
Can you hear me? You'll be a living and a walking altar. I, I know what I'm talking. So when you go back to your various homes and uh, your location, maybe when you go back home for the holiday, they will know an altar just arrived. And every other altar in the vicinity will submit. I said you must know what is written. How do I mean? In Joshua chapter 5, from verse 13, the Bible said, when Joshua was standing by Jericho, and he looked, he was looking at Jericho, and all of a sudden he saw a being. We know that story very well. And the Bible said, the sword was drawn, and he asked him, are you for us, or are you against us? And there was a discussion that happened there, that Joshua found out that that was divinity in person, that appeared to him, and they had a conversation Conversation that led to the falling of the walls of Jericho. Are you aware? Yes, sir. Are we together, church? Yes, sir. That's that discussion. As soon as divinity came to Jericho, something happened and the walls of Jericho fell down. It was written. Somebody say it was written. It was written. But something shocking happened in the Bible. And this is where my point is. Many years later, many, many, hundreds of years later, the Bible said in Luke chapter 18, verse 35, and Jesus came to Jericho. Somebody say Jericho. Jericho. Jesus came. In Joshua 5, he appeared at Jericho. And now in Luke 18, he is coming to Jericho again. Let me tell you, Jericho is not the problem. What the problem is, is the walls surrounding Jericho. The meaning of Jericho means fragrance. It's a place for pleasure. A place to enjoy. A place of satisfaction. The issue was that there were walls surrounding it from the children of Israel to enter. Are we together? You will know where I'm going to now in a minute. <laughs> Jesus came to Jericho again. And something happened. The Bible said there was a blind man. He sat down. The Bible said, hearing the noise, he asked, what is the meaning of this noise I'm hearing? And they said, Jesus is here. All of a sudden, this man remembered what was written. That he remembered. Ah, now that, that there was a time when divinity came to Jericho. And after that encounter, the wall fell down. And he said, ah, divinity has come again. He was blind, but he's the only one that could see. And he said, now divinity has come to Jericho. I'm aware that before, a wall fell down. Down, meaning that today is my day of manifestation. I need to shout because divinity has come and this wall of my blindness is about to fall. Hear me, hear me. Hear me, hear me. Hear me, hear me. Let me hear, hear me, hear me well. The Bible know this man understood the fact that it was written after divinity came, a shout followed and the wall fell down. And this man said, if I continue to sit here, I will not manifest destiny. Now that divinity has come, I need to apply what is written. And the Bible said, this man started to shout, Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. And people told him, we don't want to hear your voice. If we want to hear voices, Pharisees are here, Sadducees are here. But the man knew that it is a principle. When divinity comes to Jericho, it's only a shout that can collapse the wall. And he said, this wall of my my blindness has been stopping me for many years. This wall of my blindness has been depriving me from manifesting my destiny. People are tired of me because I am blind. Men are tired of helping me because I am blind. And the Bible says he shouted all the more. There's a principle. You need to know what is written. You need to know what is written. Divinity cannot come to Jericho and a miracle does not happen. This man was wise. Oh, how, 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 how unfortunate. The crowd that surrounded Jesus, only a blind man could see. That some of you, you are asking questions. What are they really doing here? Today, one thing that the devil has with our believers is age. Can you hear me? The devil has been on this earth for a very long time. He has seen generation rise and generation fall. He has seen revival come and revival quench. So he knows things to do because he has been here for a long time. 
But you see a young man like me standing and tearing the walls of the enemy down is because I have an advantage over him. I collect information for someone that is called the ancient of days. Can you hear me? Someone that is older than the oldest. Someone that is bigger than the biggest. I am I talking here this morning. Can I prophesy into your life? I receive you shout amen. Whatsoever is stopping your destiny, ask the man. We are custodians. We carry glory. We carry power. Can you hear me, church? Are you with me? Before you manifest destiny, you must know what is written. The Bible says, and Jesus Christ read, read where it was written concerning him. You need to find what is written concerning you. And can I give you a good news this morning? It is Jesus that is the word of God. He is the written word of God. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh through the Father, but except through me. When you have Jesus, you have the word. For you don't know what is written of you. He is the only one. I can tell you what is written of you. <laughs> I heard a girl talking about a guy that they, she loved him so much and they have the same destiny. She was talking to me that, Papa, I need, I, 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 I need, I need, I need your prayers. You know, I, I love this boy so much. I feel that uh, we have the same destiny. I said, my dear, stop. That is where you are wrong. Destiny sometimes are interwoven but not the same. You may need me to accomplish your destiny, but that does not mean our destinies are the same. So that's why this thing we are talking about, despite the fact you are gathered here, is per head. Oh. Can you hear me? You may come here with your friends, but it's per head. It's per head. So I want you to know tonight what you will do for me is to find out what is written concerning you. And when you find it out, I want you to scream it. And God told me clearly on my way here as they lift up their voice and begin to communicate. Whatsoever has been standing as a wall between them and their destiny. I'm telling you the truth. Blind Bartimaeus, his blindness fell. He saw like a wall because he applied principles. So tonight I want to I want to address my hundred persons here because God told me clearly that your life will never remain the same again. So don't be too blind to see when divinity is around. Can you hear me? Don't be too blind to see when divinity is around. There's something I know about the Holy Ghost. There's something I know about God. There's something I know about the operations of the Spirit. There is something that God always liked doing. When God wants to manifest itself or himself, he comes with a noise. I, I, are we together? When the Spirit of God wants to move, it comes with a noise. Because God wants to create an awareness that he's around. But yet, some people, we are too blind to see that God is always around. But my prayer for you is after tonight, your eyes will be open. Your ears will be open. Yeah. Lift up your hands. Stand on your feet, everybody. Stand on your feet. The Lord told me that he's going to touch you. And I believe he's going to touch you. I don't need extra faith. I don't even need your faith. Because God told me he's going to touch you. And I know he's going to touch you. In the next five minutes, this is what we're going to do. You're going to lift up your voice. No man can help you except God helps you. I'm a young boy that I love God helping me. I said, ask. Let me answer you. Let me put in my own words. So that your joy will be full. So God enjoys when we are happy. Ah, you're going to lift those hands. And you're going to say, Father, help me. Okay, can you hear me? A simple prayer. Help me tonight. Open your mind and begin to pray. That prayer where you are. Thank you, Lord. 
Help me, Lord. Help me. Help me. Look here. Look here. Look here. The fire that I saw is about to descend. Lift your hands. I saw fire. The Bible said, Arise, shine. I can, I can speak on that topic for years because God corrected my mistakes for years I was rising and I was trying to shine but God said that's not what that's not what the scripture said there's no and he said arise shine meaning in the rising there is shining can you hear me you don't struggle to shine as far as you can rise you will shine God is lifting people here hundred of you I see the fire descending. God is the only one that can lay hands on them. Lay hands on you. I am too small. Lift up your hands. And as you pray that prayer, that such say, Father, help me. The fire is going to follow me. Just pray that prayer. Father, help me. Father, help me. Father, help me. Father, help me. Like fire. Like rain. Let your glory come, Jesus. That's it. Help them, please. Help people. Help people. Help them. I can see a big ring of fire around this place. I see it. I see it. I see it. Some of you. My grave. Let your glory fall. Like fire. of the spirit run to me please if you are here the padlock just opened everyone on this line raise your hands I don't know what you believe God for are you Rita the padlock the God, God said the padlock just opened this has tied a lot of people in the, I'm seeing a home and the Lord is telling me that this padlock was thrown away locked by someone and thrown away but God just whispered to my ears. I see the padlock rising from the ocean. 
And God, if I'm talking to one, I'm talking to all of you. Can you hear me? I see the power of Christ and God said that the year 2021 is going to be the best year for your family. Because I've, I, I see tears in the realms of the spirit. But God told me that the, the family has been crying. I'm seeing a lot of deaths. I'm seeing, I'm seeing struggle. But God said that today marks the end. Today marks the end. Do you believe what I'm saying, my dear? Can you believe it? Uh, In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. I'm just seeing something here. I'm seeing three rings floating in the atmosphere. That woman, I'm seeing you. Something like yellow. Yellow. Come and lay for me. Yes, that's another lady. Come. Wipe your chest, come like fire, like rain. Let your As I pray, we are like fire. Shake it up, man. As I pray, we are like fire. Shake it up, man. As I pray, we are like fire. Shake it up, man. As I pray, we are like fire. Shake it God says there's a reputation in your family that he wants to end. A reputation. A, a, a particular occurrence occurring over and over again. God said I should tell you that you see this year 2020. I'm seeing October. Because I should end by October this year 2020, 2021. I stand to be corrected. Because I should let you know that there are pages of your family. Yeah, there are books of remembrance he wants to open. Because I'm seeing a lot of hardship. But God is saying, I should let you know, my dear, that the hour of satisfaction and the hour of stability has entered your house. I hear something. He said, I will do it. Can you hear me? He said, I will do it. Huh? Look around you. God is changing people's life. One after the other. Open your hands. You know the way Esther fought in the Bible? Esther. You know Esther in the Bible? Esther took her destiny. From this, from this night, I want you to become very prayerful. Tell God that you are tired of the situation of the family and you want things to change. And God said, You will use your word like a sword and bring down mountains in the family. So shall it be for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No more weights. Amen. The burden is lifted. Touch is settled. Amen. Congratulations, my dear. What's your name? Come. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Rapture. God has helped you. Can you hear me? You, 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 you have been helped of God. Congratulations. Lift up your hands. I see healing everywhere. I just found the grace. God said I should pray. I stand here. Under this atmosphere. This place is called Bethel. The house of God. To the back. To the front. I cause every sickness, disease, infirmity of any sort right now. I command them to leave your bodies now. In the name of Jesus, any kind of discomfort in your body, I don't care to know the name. Any kind of ulcer, any lumps, back pain, leg pain, migraine headache, any, any kind, any kind of disease at all. You cannot see well, brightness, deafness. Right now, I command it to go in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing something like water point. God said it is healing. It has come into your body. It has come into your body. Any disease, you demon of infirmity, I cast you out right now. I cast you out right now. I mentioned the case or not. I command you to be set free now. You are healed in the name 
name of Jesus. There's a girl, your teeth have been pending you for weeks now. Check it, it is gone. There is someone here, I'm talking to you, I can see you have issues with your heart. God has stabilized your heart. There is someone here, you have issues with your leg, you can't stand properly. God has just healed you. In the name of Jesus. I hear in my ear that miracles happen. I want you to rush out. Let me pray. That's last night we do. Check your body. If God has healed you, come out. Let me put my letter for you. I hear in my ears right now that there's a miracle here now. God just healed somebody here now. Come out. Check yourself. Things you cannot do before. Put them. Come out now. Let me permanent that miracle for you. Right now. Right now. Just come out. I, I, I hear in my ears. There's uh, seven persons here that God just healed. Even it's not. It's greater than that.